Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hello, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Last week I showed you how important it is to add shadows to your drawings. They add weight, a sense of depth and context. And the drop shadow is at its best when there's one strong light source. And to understand the importance of lights and shadows, you need to see it. So I recommend you to get a desk lamp or something and an object and move the light source around the object and see what effects the light can bring to the shadows. When the light source is above the object, the drop shadow is kind of straight below it. When the light source is at the left, the shadow falls on the other side of the object. Often for portrait photography, it's a lot more interesting to have the lighting from left or right rather than frontal, because frontal is kind of flat. From the side, the characteristics of the curves and features of the face are showing much better. So for both photography and drawing, lighting from the side is better. If the light is lower, the drop shadow becomes taller. When it comes from the back, the shadow can be very interesting, but the object you're trying to draw might be mostly shaded on the side you're looking at, so it's not ideal. But those tall shadows are very good if you need a dramatic effect. Like we already established last week, the drop shadow adds context. There's a lot of information in there. For example, when I place a shadow further below this ball, suddenly it's floating. And with the shadow even further down, and a bit smaller too, the ball is floating even higher. This is used in comics a lot, for example. Well, I hope this is a helpful tip and that you will play around with a light source and an object to discover the endless possibilities of light and shadow. I'll be back with a new tip next week, but if you want to make sure you're not missing out, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you will get weekly tips from me every Tuesday. I'll see you next week. Bye.